What's up guys, my name is Bjorn and today I'm going to teach you the inward bass. <laughs> oh, yeah. The inward bass, how to do it? <clears throat> Just two steps. We start with the outward chest bass. It sounds like this. <sighs> it's like outward breathing, but it's, uh, it's outward heavy breathing and you try to pinch down the back of your throat a little bit. So it's, it's a relaxed vibration. It's not like the upper throat bass, which is higher in your throat. Ah, ah, do, 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 do. It's it's higher in your throat. You want to have the relaxed vibration. <sighs> okay. Try it a few times. Try to find the place where it sounds exactly like this. If you have that down, the step number two is very easy. Do the exact same thing, but inward. The chest bass is outward, <sighs> and do that <sighs> inward. So you get the. <sighs> it's like. It's like heavy breathing, but in the back of your throat, you pinch it a little bit. Yeah, so that's the normal inward bass, I would call it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what you want to have. Don't go for the, if you if you pinch it too much, you get the, that's not what you want to have. You want to have the relaxed one for the inward bass. That's what I call the normal inward bass, because it's outward, inward. If you want to have my version of the inward bass, it sounds like this. <laughs> It's a little bit lower and I call it the lower inward bass. How to do it is by doing the slizzer bass outward and how you do that is by uh, this, this vibration is a little bit higher and you make your, your tongue like you're, you're saying basically. Sounds really weird now but if I add the vibration it sounds like that. I'm not great at the slizzer bass but if you do that vibration Outward, but inward, you will get my inward bass. And it sounds like this. <laughs> outward, <laughs> inward. Yeah? <laughs> if you really want to spice it up, you can add a click roll to it and you will get a... <laughs> That's hard on your, on your throat. By the way, make sure that you drink a lot of water during the practice of this because it can hurt a little bit. So if it starts to hurt, take a break, drink some water and try again later. Okay, I really hope this tutorial helps. If you have any questions about how to do the inward bass or any other sound, please, I mean, if you have suggestions about what other sounds to cover in these little tutorials, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you hopefully on Thursday.